uh, Cliff here. I'm, today I'm going to be adding the stringers to the chipmunk build. Um, it's a very controlled conversion of a rubber powered kit by Grillo's, the chipmunk. Kit number nine nine zero three nine zero three DHC one chipmunk. So I've got the stringers here. They're not bad. They feel stiff, but not too stiff, if you get my meaning. Before I do that, I'm going to just sand this block at the back. I said I would when the glue is set, and it's now set. This side. need to do the tail plane um, support Right, stringers. of stringers pop them in the box right so we start with I think mm, the bottom perhaps we'll see how accurate my filed holes are now ordinarily I would join it to go all the way down to the front, but the bottom hatch here, I'm going to put a bottom hatch here for the uh, access to the radio equipment and possibly even the battery hatch. So what I'm saying is I can cut this here, cut it there. So I'll glue it in, cut it afterwards. It doesn't that exactly come out in a controlled flow on this. Okay, that's the bottom stringers glued in. Put some, I'll tell you what, I was going to put some top stringers on, but I think I'll just cut these before I get too far ahead because I'm going to be catching them in a minute. I'm going to put a hatch here as well so I can cut them off a solid wood hatch and cut them off reasonably close. Okay, so that's those trimmed off flush with the end.
let's just trim this down and uh, stop it getting caught on anything. Okay, uh, now I guess I'm not going to put the front on just yet. Let's put the rear stringers on then. See how it takes shape. Of, well, in fact, these are pretty short because they only go from the leading edge of the tailplane up to the back of the cockpit canopy. That little square in there could be opened up just a little bit more, just so as I've got more stringer um, in the groove and less to sand off. Okay, there's the back stringers in. Uh, it's looking okay. So, cut something down to size. Right? I think I'll cut these down to size. So, a little bit delicate sticking up there, aren't they? Oh, I just noticed something. This size stringer should have come all the way. Should it? Yeah, the cockpit doesn't go all the way down. It should that size stringer should have come all the way to the front stuck pretty well so what i'm going to have to do is to uh, do a scarf joint but that will be under the edge of the canopy so you're not going to see it teach me for not noticing get the motor in uh, before i get too far ahead anyway and if it's worth making a small Patch to go on the front just in case I need access. Yeah, I've got to get some radio equipment in there now, chaps. Chaps and chapesses. Also, I need to get that front cowling on along with the motor. Okay, that's nice and flush, so that can come out now, not sure. Right, that really is it for the minute. Fuselage is coming along very nicely. Got a geared motor, which I'm going to solder onto the board. This old board has only got one servo on it that works. The other one I've removed at some stage. We've got a spare servo I can plug in, so I know it's little bit more weight only the PCB that it's attached to but so I've got rudder and elevator uh, but um, I haven't got a plug on the end of well on on this um, little board so I'm gonna have to solder the wires directly to the board itself but uh, that'll, that'll be it for now guys thank you very much for checking in as usual uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you very soon.